I think I'm just gonna hang out in here all day because it's nice and warm. Outside right now, with the wind chill, it's negative 31. Welcome to the North Country. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. First off, I want to start off with saying thank you so much for helping me hit 400 subscribers. Woo! So I told you guys, once I hit 400 subscribers, I would share with you the animal that I bought a couple months ago that nobody knows about. He's the one that lives right here. So I thought about taking him out so you guys could see him like right here while I'm talking, but he's a little feisty and we're working on that. We made really good progress this morning, so I don't want to push it and take him out and manhandle him, but I'll be sure to get plenty of footage and close-ups for you guys. So the animal that I got, I told you in my 2018 recap video that I left an expo in October, November, I think it's the end of October. I left an expo with three animals, only one of which was planned. This is the guy that was planned. And he is, drum roll please, Ding! a jeweled lacerda. Jeweled lacerdas have been one of my favorite lizards mainly because their colors are beautiful. They are bright green and have blue spots and they're just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So they've actually been on my list for a while now. Every time I've gone to an expo, I've looked for one and they're not expensive. They're just really hard to find. So finally, I found them. And of course I found him after I gave up and bought my two unplanned animals. And then the last vendor, at the very back of the room, had two jeweled lacertas. So I got him, and he's a little feisty, but it's okay, most of them are when they're little. So for anyone that doesn't know what a jeweled lacerta is, they're often called mini tegus, and because they kind of look like a tegu when they get older, but they're smaller. They're only about 15 to 24 inches when they're adults. Um, so a smaller tegu, if you will, but they're much more feistier than a tegu, um, especially when they're little. As they get older, they tend to melt out more. We also have to work with them, training them. And once they kind of orient you with food, then they kind of start to trust you a little more. So we're working on that currently. They also say that males tend to be a little more aggressive during breeding season, and he is a male. Although I don't believe he's old enough to really understand breeding season. So I think it's just him right now, just kind of being skittish, being a jeweled lacerda, all good. So jeweled lacertas originate from Southwestern Europe and they live in meadows and woodlands, and they typically live 12 to 20 years. So like most reptiles, they are a long-lived pet. So you should be really committed. They are diurnal and move very, very, very quickly, especially when they're young and they're skittish. So he is quite difficult to handle at the moment. So if I just want to build trust, let him, or have him let me touch him, that's what we're working on currently. And they are insectivores, so they do eat mainly bugs, but they do tend to eat other things like fruits, bananas, strawberries. Personally, he really likes strawberries. And you guys saw in my What I Bought My Animals for Christmas video that I did buy someone Bluey Buffet. He would be that someone. I've talked to a lot of people that have fed their Bluey Buffet and they loved it. So I'm gonna try it with him. I'm gonna cook that up and give that a try, let you guys know what he thinks of that. So they do require higher temperatures and UVB. So you guys may have already guessed. You guys can see his lamp right there. 
you guys have probably already guessed that he has a mega ray. You guys know how much I love mega rays. I use them for Arcadius, my iguana. So of course, when I found out he needs high temps and UVB, I directly went to the mega ray. They also do well on substrates like rubs to bark, mixed with forest floor, you know, something kind of dirt and foresty. And they do like to dig, so this is very important. Um, I did have him on the glue substrate on dirt, and he had really no interest in digging. Um, but it might have just been because he was in a new area he wanted to explore. A lot of people say they're kind of shy and like to hide. Not him. He's always out exploring. So that's at least fun. So you will notice that he is on paper towel currently. I made the mistake of bringing him home from the expo. I did quarantine him, but I didn't put him on paper towel. I immediately put him on substrate. I couldn't really tell if he had mites or not. And I looked him over, of course, at the expo. You can't really handle them at the expo though because they're so skittish and quick that if I were to open that, he would have been gone. So I had to do what I could looking through this bin. And you may notice he's kind of got a little black specks. So it would be really, really hard to find a mite on him. And so I just assumed he was all good. I didn't see it being moving. Took him home. He was only at my apartment for maybe two weeks. And then I started to move animals back here. So he was one of the first ones to come back. And so I did have to pick him up to put him in a travel container. When I picked him up, I found two little mites crawling on me. So I was like, oh my God. He was separated from my animals here, put on paper towel and treated for mites. I treated his tank and I did several mite treatments for him. And I never saw another one, it was just those two. So soaking him, watching on the paper towels, I never found another one. It was um, like a whole month, it was over a month, never saw one. So I deemed him okay to be put in here. But I am a nervous Nancy, which is why he's still on paper towel. Even though I cleared him and said no mites, he's still on paper towel. So maybe in the next week or so, I'll switch him back to a loose substrate, a dirt substrate. Um, but I'm just a nervous Nancy, so that has not happened yet. Even though I am like 100% sure he does not have mites. But yeah. So I tried to clean the tank and get the water residue off and clearly that didn't work very well because the glass still looks kind of dirty, but we'll do our best. So I've got his water, his food dish, this is his cool hide, also this is his bathroom. He likes to poop in privacy so he always goes in here so I have to change his paper towel. You can see I've got two of the hammocks. They are kind of semi-arboreal, they do like to climb. As you can see, I they don't stick for me very well. That one does a little more. But obviously I don't know how to really put them on either. And then I've got some plants and then his pride rock back there. It does double as a warm hide because he can climb in there and he can sit on top to bask. And now we're gonna go up for a better view. So this is his crib and it's Mega Ray. So I did not feed him yet because I wanted you guys to see what a great little hunter he is. So let's go feed him. So I do work on tongue feeding with him just to build trust and sometimes I will pet him and then if he lets me pet him without freaking out I will reward him. So that's what I did this morning. It was really good he let me pet him multiple times without freaking out which is why I didn't take him out for the video because he was so good and I'm trying to rebuild, there he is, trying to rebuild trust with him. We were doing really well pre-mite and then I had to manhandle him to do mite treatments. So he kind of hates me now, but we're, we're coming back. We're making progress again. So he doesn't have a name yet. We're trying to think of something to do with crocodiles and alligators because he really looks like one. Which is why I asked on Instagram, if you could name a crocodile or an alligator, what would you name it? And I've been leaning towards Crikey, 
as kind of a tribute to Steve Irwin. I don't want to name him Steve. My boyfriend would love if I named him Steve, but I'm thinking Crikey is where I'm gonna go. I thought Crikey or Dundee, like Crocodile Dundee. Uh, comment below, Crikey or Dundee? Take a vote. And I've got calcium coated crickets. Time to unleash the Kraken. Oh, and he's gonna go hide. All right, here we go. Again, thank you so much for 400 subscribers. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. Don't forget to comment names, Crikey or Dundee. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And we'll see you next time.